What's up, y'all? Got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're going to get into Bam Man Kevo because apparently he's still exposing CJ. We're talking about um, something about I wrote him from jail. Now, the crazy thing about it is, let me just break this down. I'm trying to let a lot of people get on here first so y'all can understand. Now, the whole real reason how I even know CJ so cool, you know what I mean? So I'm going to break this down, you feel me? Let everybody get in here. The only reason why I know CJ is because D-Lo. D-Lo hit me up and told me, man, listen, bro. You know what I'm saying? I like what you're doing in the education space. You know what I mean? You know, I, I work with CJ so cool. You feel me type shit? And, um, man, you know, I feel like you can help him make a lot of money and shit like that. So me looking at his whole process. So D-Lo had uh, good intentions for CJ, sound like. He got his shit going. I'm like, okay, cool. You know what I mean? And they like, okay, well, I'm like, the thing about CJ is... It's in Charlotte, baby. He has a kid fan base, but he won't be able to make no money, right? So, the only way he'll be able to make some money is if he comes out with a YouTube guy. Oh, no, it's not. It's here. Something that in, involving, Wait. you know what I'm saying, making some money. Otherwise, it's not too many people that's, you know, yeah. his fan base age is going to buy something off it's of him. You know what I mean? Now... If he, we got to start keeping up with the tickets. Just, yeah. <laughs> if he says, like, okay, well, I'm going to sell some shoes. Like, he tried to sell some shoes. I'm like, you're trying to sell some shoes, game, but you not wearing the shoes. This is dumb as hell. You feel me? So, that's one. You know, two, it's like, come out with a toy. You play video games all day. Come out with a video game or something. You know what I mean? Um... And the whole reason why I'm making this video, because he just responded, he's basically saying like, oh, well, yeah, you know, uh, trying to say he made me, which everybody in the fucking world knows this man did not, I didn't even know this man. This niggas just make fucking videos with kids. Like, like, come on now. He's basically saying that I hit him up from jail saying that I needed to clean up my image. So you're, it's a, the lie so crazy that I'm literally now about to just believe literally everything I see on the internet with the girl saying she got touched and all that. Because if you gonna lie oh, to the fans like that and say that I hit you up from jail saying that I need to clean up my image, so I'm gonna run with a grown man who runs around with kids, little kids. Like that don't even make sense, gang. Like first of all, CJ was hating on me when I first met the nigga. Like it was royalty. It's crazy. It was Royalty and D-Lo who wanted me around to help him because he didn't know what the hell he was doing. He just had a fan base and his only fan base was, I mean, his only way to make money was just strictly just saying, all right, well, I can get around these kids and show kids how to do this, this, and this. And I'm just like, bro, listen, do you know anything about credit? He like, man, my credit sucks, this and that. He was just blaming everybody for everything. How his credit suck, though? He was getting all the, well, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. We got into this house. Our credit is... Terrible. Like I still you got to drop a bag. Got it. Going to the house, the cars. I got to pay the car notes. I got to do this. I got to do that. I'm trying to make some money, man, and all this shit, right? So you got to realize, like, as far as, like, outside looking in, I, when I came around him, I'm coming around this man with three, four, five chains. The nigga just rocking this one little bitty ass chain with two cute, like, he had a chain that was like a like an old man chain, like a 50-year-old chain, like, and it was the Cuban, then he had the two uh links going to the charm or some weird shit i'm like what is that like i'm like when did you am i tripping when bad man kevo came around cj ain't had no chains am i tripping i don't remember that get that chain man he like oh man yeah i got this chain back in like 20 uh 2014 i'm like gang it's it's like 2022 you know what i'm saying like you need to upgrade your shit gang like like all of the, the way you like all this shit, and he was just like, "Well, I mean, I'm like, bro, if because every I feel like every year we should up a level. You feel me? So I'm coming around, and I'm looking like, and everything that I see, I'm just like, it, it can be better. This is how you make the money. This is what you do. Now, as far as like him with the loan shit, I don't know how that go. Or whatever, I don't care if he broke. I don't know if he broke, but to me, outside looking in from seeing a house, from seeing a house, just like he had that other house, and he had a downgrade to another house. We are watching. We are the viewers. We're watching. You were just in this house. Now you're sitting in the corner with a damn picture, little picture right there by these damn weird ass stairs with this blue paint talking loud as hell. Not only that, 
CJ came from mansions, right? So now when he's taking, he's doing videos in these little ass houses. I know to a lot of y'all might be like, shit, I'll be happy if I got a house. Like, that's not what it's about. We're talking about a man that has had mansions. And now he in his little ass house. It looked kind of crazy to me. To the camera for three hours straight. Something wrong, bro. We know you ain't getting no contracts. We know you ain't getting no deals. You could have got deals, but it's too much drama. You feel me? It's too much drama. It's too much going on. Now, now, instead of CJ so cool and all this, like, to be honest, he capped. That's why I just put out that clip. If y'all didn't just go see the clip I just put out, go look at the clip I just put out, you know what I mean, where he's praising me. Like, oh, yeah, my man, Ben, Ben, this and Ben here, bread, came around a nigga with M's. He told me, man, my first time, the first time that nigga really seen real M's in his banking account game was when he got that loan. He didn't really have no fucking M's. He didn't have a lump sum of money at one time. Never. I believe it, because the nigga spend money like crazy. Never like that. He was getting money, but it was definitely never like, um, like real money like that. Like the nigga was kind of capping a little bit. You feel me? So at the end of the day, what y'all got to realize is that to be honest, it's, a worth, it's worthless to respond to this nigga. If you ain't got 12 million game, you ain't fucking with me at all. You, I don't care about the cars he had, the cribs, none of that. You ain't got no real money. You're not getting no contracts. Nobody, like, kids know you, but you're not, like I explained yesterday, he's not really on the blogs. You know what I mean? Like, you only attack, to be honest, royalty can superly capitalize. If she got smarter, she can really pass you up because she's a female and her fan base is way bigger and better. Yeah, royalty just too focused on being a demon and, and, and getting vengeance off of him. Royalty could have been made money. It's just she's not capitalizing the right way, and those are her kids. She could really take off on this nigga. She got the kids. So to be honest, it's like he, he's – this is the thing about – Nobody's CJ. worried about those kids anymore either. They about to be grown. Yeah, he's too cocky. Like the cockiness has got him sitting by that blue wall, by that picture. That little picture up there. That, that he sits by yelling at the screen, that being cocky got him like that. You know what I mean? Like you gotta you gotta understand that he's trying to catch up and he's trying to compete too hard with his people that he's around, his circle of people. Notice he got into it with everybody that was around him except Lexi. You feel me? So it's kind of like I'm getting on the internet, then the nigga sent me a video talking about, yeah, um, the nigga CJ talking about he put you on. I ain't no fucking way this man put me on. This nigga can't even afford to put me on. Damn. Like, if he put me on, he'd be way richer than me then. And he don't got no fucking money. So it's like, how would you say that you put me on? And how would you say that I wanted to clean up my image with you and you have a bad image? Like, it's not like your image <laughs> is all the way good. And if that was the case, if you needed to clean up the image, well, what what happened with royalty then? If that was the case. So I guess she had a better image than you if she bringing you down, supposedly. YouTube TV. Think about it. So that's how I'm looking at it. Like, you got, he got to make up his mind. Yeah, I'm trying to put football on the damn TV. I'm sorry. Who... Fucked up your image. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, like, you're going back and forth and doing this and doing that and all on the internet looking stupid as hell. You lost her kids. So at the end of the day, it's kind of like, man, stop. Stop it, bro. Like, you feel me? I'm What I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to teach people how to build their credit. I'm going to continue to make millions of dollars a month. I'm going to continue to do what I do the best. Like, at the end of the day, it's like... I feel like gang sits back. Millions of dollars a month is crazy. But I, he is, yeah. In the house and watch his niggas elevate, take crazy trips and, you know what I mean, live their best life. And folks is sick about that shit. Imagine somebody sitting back. They're like, damn, I wonder what Kevo's doing. And this nigga, he all over. He in China and Egypt and Thailand and traveling, spending 100000 here, 50000 there. And you sitting back mad at... Kevo, because he's traveling and you just, man, that ain't fair. I'm going through this and he ain't going through that. He one of them type of people type shit. So that's what y'all got to realize. It's kind of like that. But at the same time, I look at it like, we just going to get this shit together though, bro. You feel me? All the right. But I just wanted to clear that up though, man. The man just got on here and was talking about he, I wrote him from prison a letter saying that I needed to clean up my image. So I needed to come hang out with him. So he let me hang out with him. I'm like, what the fuck? What do they, I'm like, what do y'all mean by that? That's weird. So let me hang out is crazy. But anyways, man, yeah, that's what we all know, man. We really getting, we really getting ourselves to the next level, man. And 
everybody that's hating, usually, you know what I'm saying, they don't really get far. You see everybody that hated on me, they not on shit, you feel me? So I'm happy, you know what I mean, that they're continuing to watch. And even, I feel like even the haters that I got that's online, now you notice that everybody that went up against me, they all fucked up, they all broke as hell. And I just look at it like, Damn, that's crazy. Cause I, I even look, I even go back and check on my haters to make sure that they still fucked up. Like, yes, you got on the internet, you hate it, you still fucked up. You feel me? Yeah. So it's kind of like you gotta look at it like, okay, perfect. This is y'all niggas get for playing with me. You feel me? You dig. But yeah, though, make sure y'all tap into that metro too. Bandclan.com, man. If you wanna let an AI be able to clean your credit, you know what I'm saying? And that's what is what's going on, man. Like I said, I created. Everything that I'm doing right now, man, we running them in. We don't, we don't got time to keep capping and shit like that. Like, while bro is sitting behind the camera yelling at the camera, I'm sitting behind softwares, creating softwares, and cre doing trading and um, doing sports betting and making all types of money, doing all types of shit. You feel me? While niggas is hating, sitting behind the screens and hating, all this money is gonna keep coming. Type shit. You feel me? Okay. So, yeah, it's a, it's a great life. You feel me? This is how we're going to do it. But at the end of the day, I look at it like, we got to do what we got to do type shit. He's just chatting at, at this day. point. They say he's still posting royalty kids gang. Damn, folks, for real. He posted them on Snapchat now, which Snapchat could make him some money. I don't know if he's making any over there. Man, that's wild. Mm. Yep, life is good. I don't know who Mark Mark is. I don't know who the hell that is. Who the hell is that? The royalty. Yeah, well, did you smash royalty? No, 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 no. No, I wouldn't even. You know, I wouldn't even gas, bitch, I'm moving fast. It ain't no stop. Why did, when did this get louder? Hey, everybody. Appreciate the reset, friend. Hey. I don't know when this got louder. I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't even mess with folks, girl, or nothing like that. You know what I mean? But it's just still funny because it's like, that's what you get for hating and shit. You know? Niggas be hating bad. I mean, niggas be on fake pages like me. I would never get on like a fake page and like hate. Like, especially if I'm broke as hell. I'd be like, damn, I'm broke as hell and I'm hating on this rich ass nigga. Like, fuck. <laughs> then a nigga just block me. Then they be like, damn, he just blocked me. Fuck, I can't hate no more type shit. <laughs> Think of me talking <laughs> shit. Niggas be sick. But uh, yeah, we vibing though, man. We live, we really living this shit. But anyway, man, I'm, 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 I'm on my way to Greece. You know what I'm saying? About to go to Greece. Then we going to um, Egypt. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm on, man. Just living my life, man. Go to my Instagram, Band Man Kevo. You know what I'm saying? Tap in with me. Follow me on Instagram right now. If you don't, if you want to type shit, Band Man Kevo on Twitter. We posting a lot of new shit that's coming soon. Stay tuned. We vibing. Type shit. But like I said, if y'all really want to make some real money, though, I'm gonna give y'all some real game. All you really gotta do is just go to Metro2.com. I mean Metro2BandClan.com and it's an AI that cleans people credit. So when somebody is telling you that, oh well, I clean your credit, no, nah, I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna let this AI clean the credit, and then I'm gonna charge people to clean their credit with the AI. That's how you make money. Like a lot. Which I agree, but uh... niggas ain't putting you on stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't putting you on trading. Niggas ain't putting you on primaries. I'm not only, I was literally one of the first people that told people about primaries and trade lines and all that. And look, I can get anything I want, just a signature with the perfect primaries, the perfect trade lines. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's A1, you know what I'm saying? So that's what you got to get into. Niggas be like, bro, how do I make some money? Niggas start fixing, start learning how to fix credit. Everybody needs some removed off their credit. So if you learn how to fix people's credit, they're going to need you. Trust me. They're going to be like, damn, bro, um... How much you charge to take this off? You got an AI cleaning it, so it's not like you doing it. You can say five hundred, you can say five thousand, you can say two thousand. I'm gonna look into this shit. These are the methods you need to know to be able to make money out here, because you have to do something that everybody needs. Everybody needs something removed off their credit, man. Everybody, everybody needs their credit built. So you can sell primaries, you can sell trade lines, 
You know what I mean? Every, they always gonna need that. Niggas gonna go in the bank, they gonna want a car. Niggas gonna go in the bank, they want a credit card. They want a loan. They always gonna need something like that. You feel me? So instead of being one of them niggas that sits on YouTube or sits on Instagram trying to be a comedian and not getting paid for it, start learning how to make some money, man. Cause you gonna need it. Like the jokes ain't gonna like at the end of the day, when you get off of this app, you have to go back to regular life, and regular life will be either be high or or your shit gonna be low because the comedian shit don't get you paid. That's what's so funny about niggas. Like, if you're gonna get on the shit internet, me, Desi Banks making a fucking bag and lie and say this, this, and this, you still gotta go back and look and log into your broke ass banking account. And if it's not there, you need to be learning from somebody, getting around somebody who can teach you. Well, I he ain't wrong about being taught new trades. I notice on social media, everybody wanna be a comedian. They be like, damn, I'm finna try to say this funny joke and hopefully it gets. All for entertainment. You know why a lot of people broke as hell? Because they more worried about getting entertained. A lot of niggas want to get entertained for no reason. It's not paying you a dollar. I'm not, I, I, I wasn't ever a nigga that'll sit on somebody's shit and just be like, all right, let me see if I can uh, uh, like say a comment or get entertained. It's like, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm trying to make some fucking money. Like, no, teach me how to make some money, gang. That's all I want to know. I'm going to use you. I'm going I'm to learn you. And, and I'm going to pass you up. That's how I've always been. I've never been one of them people that wanted to be a fake-ass comedian. Like, if I wanted to be a comedian, then I'll be the biggest comedian. I'm not going to find niggas' videos or, like, you know how many troll niggas is I troll myself. I troll myself. That's how you know I don't care about it. So, listen, I've been getting money for so long, right? When I first came out, I told niggas, oh, I did this. I even just told niggas. I told niggas, I was like, you know what? I'm 6'8". Niggas believe that I... That's how dumb the world is. I was like, yeah, I'm 6'8". These goofies really believe that I was 6'8", gang. That was all to get a $400,000 contract. I did that to sell things, like, and people <laughs> fell for it. Shows you how dumb the world is. I like trolling. I love... Ah, uh, listen. He really got uh, uh, BBL abs, though. I didn't believe the knees, but I just thought that that was crazy. But thank God he, I guess, didn't get the knees. But you never know. You never know these days. But, all right, I'm done with this. He said what he had to say about CJ. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in, the com and, uh, blah, blah, down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.